Hello and welcome back to the latest Luminar Neo update video. The new version number 1.16.0 has just been released and it includes the highly anticipated Gen Swap tool as well as few important updates to the Gen Erase tool. In this video, first we're gonna go through the list of all the updates and after that we're gonna jump into the application where we're going to test them. But now let's start by looking at the list of updates for version 1.16.0. First, let's talk about the Gen Erase and Gen Swap tools, both available exclusively for Luminar subscribers and Creative Journey Pass owners. The latest update brings an innovative tool called Gen Swap, allowing you to transform your photos effortlessly. Say goodbye to boring elements as you replace your skies, foregrounds or backgrounds with AI-generated visuals. All you need to do is to input a prompt and witness the magic unfold. But that's not all. Gen Erase and now also the Gen Swap have been enhanced for smoother performance and more accurate results. Now moving to the update of the Radial Mask in the masking tab, the inner circle is now filled by default, making editing a breeze. And still, don't forget that of course that you can invert the fill with one simple click. Now talking to the Apple users, the Apple Silicon M1, M2 and M3 will notice better quality and more accurate contours thanks to the Luminar's improved internal AI models for these devices. Covering more news about Luminar Neo, our popular winter bundle is back with a festive photography bonus to get you ready for the upcoming season. To find out more about it, follow the link in the description of this video or stay until the end where I'm gonna tell you more about it. And now it's time to move into Luminar Neo and look at the available updates. First, of course, let's talk about the GenSwap tool. Similarly to the rest of the generative AI tools, the GenSwap is an exclusive tool for Luminar Neo subscribers and the owners of Creative Journey Pass. If you neither a subscriber nor a pass owner, you can find out more about it by following the link in the description of this video. Once you update the application, the GenSwap tool will appear in the panel on the right side of your screen. It will actually appear in the new section called Generative Tools. As you can see, we already have the Gen Erase here, and now we also have the option to choose the Gen Swap. To use it, again, we need to be in the catalog module where we're gonna select a sample file and then simply click on the GenSwap icon. This will open the Gen Swap window and will start editing the image here. First come first, let's go to the bottom of the screen where we're gonna look at the available controllers. Starting from the left, we have the name of the tool and then the possibility to do the undo or redo depending on the steps we're going to make. You can click on the eye icon to find out more about the tool or you can move on and use the before and after view as well as the zoom option where you can simply click on it and then select the zoom. If you want to zoom, you can also use the wheel on your mouse as it is a little bit more natural and maybe even faster. After that, we have the whole section focusing on the brush. The brush will help us to select the area where we want to swap or add new element. So let me show you how it's done. First, we need to make sure that we are on select as we're going to be selecting a specific area. Now, after that, we can adjust the size of our brush and you can do that using the little slider or you can also use the bracket keys on your keyboard. Once you're happy with the size, just like with any brush in Luminar Neo, you can simply brush over the area where you want to add or again swap the element on your image. 
For me, I'm gonna brush here as I would like to add a dark necklace here. So we're gonna do that, brush over this area. And once I'm happy with the selection, we could start the swap. However, to finish describing the controllers, we have an option to click on deselect. And by doing that, we can now come back to our mask and very simply brush over the part of the selection we want to remove. To top it off, at the end here, we also have an option to reset the entire selection. And when we do that, you will see that the selection disappear altogether. So now we need to come back, click on select again, and let's start and just very quickly brush over this area here. As you probably guessed, we're gonna try to add a necklace here. So let's do that. Let's just brush over this area. And you will notice that as soon as you select a part of the image, you will see a prompt bar appearing above your control panel. It's here where you can enter the prompt. Now, when it comes to the prompt, you want to be as detailed as possible, and it will really depends on what exactly you want to do. In our case, we can be really simple. All we want to do is to write dark pearl less. Once we're happy with the prompt, all we need to do is to click on swap. Once you click on the button, the application will start the process of replacing or adjusting that area. At the same time, it will also show you a number of tips that will make using the Gen Swap tool a little bit easier. Now you will have a time to go through it, so go ahead and do that. But in the meantime, let me tell you how the Gen Swap works. To put it simply, the tool works by taking the chosen area and sending it to the cloud. There, an AI machine attempt to create the element you requested and blend it seamlessly into the surrounding areas. Once completed, the tool sends the updated image back to the application, replacing the original selected area with the newly created element. Once the application returns the image with the adjustment, you can then review the look. You can come back to the before and after and have a look at the adjustment, or you can also undo or redo any of the steps. Now for me, for this example, I'm quite happy with it. However, if you would want to, you could regenerate the area simply by clicking on the swap button again. Once you're happy with the result, you can then navigate to the top right corner of your screen and simply click on save. By doing that, you will return back to the catalog module and specifically into the new Generative Creations folder. From here, you can move the image into any folder you want, or you can immediately move it into Edit module and continue with your edit. Now, since we're done here, let me show you a few more examples of what I was able to do with the GenSwap tool. For that, we need to move into my example folder. And we're gonna start from the top where we have the couple on the beach. And with a simple prompt, dark black and white dragon tattoo, I was able to add tattoo to the back of the guy. Moving on, you already seen the pearls. So I think the result is quite cool. Again, here, we started here, and then I was able to add the white shirt. And the prompt I used was white button up formal shirt. Now, moving forward, I was able to create a nice lake and reflection at the bottom. And another example of the reflection is with the deer here. So deer standing on little patch of grass. And this was the result. All I did was select the bottom of the image and the prompt I used was water or lake with reflection. With few more examples, here, this is an example I already showed in my preview video. Basically, we started here with dried out river and we ended up with result like this. And all I added was river with reflection. And then I try to add a ruin on the top of the hill and it doesn't look great. However, I think the blending is quite interesting and I'm sure that with a little bit more effort, I would be able to come out with even better result. 
Now, since we already on this image, let me show you the final update that I can show you in Luminar Neo, and that's the update that involves the radial mask. So let's jump into the edit module where we can open the develop tool. And let's say that we want to make the ruin a little bit brighter. For that, we would go into the exposure and bring the exposure slider up. After that, we would move into the masking tab where we would select the radial gradient. And now we would drag the radial gradient over the area of the ruin. Now we can adjust the position and you can immediately see with the mask on that now compared to before, the mask is in the center of the radial gradient. So basically the effect of the brightness is applied to the center of the gradient and then gradually it goes towards the end of the gradient where the effect completely disappears. Of course that you can adjust it or what you can do, you can click on invert and then have the opposite effect. For us, let's bring it back, then come back to adjustments. And as you can see, we have the bright spot on our ruin and in the middle of our gradient. Now, finally, before I let you go, I wanna quickly talk to you about our newly introduced Luminar Neo Winter Bundle. With over 860 new winter elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools, you will enjoy all the high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, working layers, LUTs and presets to transform your winter and festive images with just a few clicks. If you purchase it right now, you will get an additional festive bundle to really make you ready for the upcoming season. Now to get the best possible price, make sure that you follow the link in the description of this video. And to find out more about it, head to our website, cleverphotographer.com. And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.